Welcome to the training course for advanced problem solving. You are watching a lean map course for self improvement. Complete the course and get your certificate at leanmap.com slash academy. You will learn how to analyze problems, identify causes, and evaluate solutions. We start with the fundamental problem-solving process based on PDCA principles. The PDCA template is used for the exercises and can be downloaded for free at leanmap.com slash shop. 1. Record problem, describe what happened, where and when, and who is solving it. 2. Analyze problem, assign causes to man, method, machine, material, management, milieu. 3. Identify causes, ask repeatedly why to drill down to the root causes. 4. Implement actions, act to contain, correct, and prevent the problem. 5. Evaluate results, review impact, score effectiveness, and standardize the solution. You can download the free PDCA Problem Solving Toolkit from leanmap.com slash shop. In the next lesson you will learn how to write an effective problem statement. A good problem statement is specific and factual, describes frequency and impact. Because the fishbone diagram is an important tool, we will review it in detail now. The fishbone or Ishikawa diagram consists of the fish head and several fishbones. The fish head describes the problem in a specific and factual way, listing key information. The man category covers people issues, such as careless or noncompliant. The machine category covers equipment issues such as degraded, overloaded, misused. The management category covers lack of direction, information, resources, incentives. The method category covers process issues, such as undefined or unsuitable. The material category covers defective or missing items, wrong amount or value. The milieu category covers issues from the internal and external operating environment. The fishbone diagram helps to structure problems by assigning issues to categories. Now we will learn about systematic root cause analysis, a key element of problem solving. We recognize a problem by its symptoms, while its true causes are often hidden. This means that we need to analyze causal relationships to uncover the root causes. You found the root cause if it is existing, sufficient and necessary to cause the problem. Root cause example, the lack of a cleaning instruction caused missing parts in the box. Root cause example, the incorrect installation of a fuse caused Joe arrive late. Can we use the same method to analyze simple and complex problems? Let's check. One PDCA form is sufficient for a simple problem, while a complex problem requires several forms or a logic tree. As a final step, we are now evaluating our problem-solving effectiveness. Complete the course at leanmap.com slash academy and get your certificate. And here are some quotes from famous problem solvers for inspiration. Write down the problem, go beyond what you know, ask tough questions, and take action. Let's now summarize what we have learned in this training course. Only when root causes are eliminated, problems are solved and will not repeat. Problem solving depth is defined by containment, statement, correction, prevention. 
an existing cause must be sufficient and necessary to be called a root cause. A solid analysis meets the five checkpoints for clarity, control, focus, logic, depth. Use the PDCA checklist to measure solution effectiveness, strive for 20 points or 100%. Now visit leanmap.com slash academy to complete the course and get your certificate.